Hi everybody, it's Patty from Sandy Hollow Tarot coming to you with part two of the Tarot and Oracle unboxing or unenveloping as the case may be. Uh, if you missed out on the first part, uh, I was given a whole stack of envelopes containing sample Oracle and Tarot cards. So instead of just going through them and looking at them, I thought I would look at them with you and we can share in this together so the first one I have tonight and I'm gonna go through them quickly because nobody has time to watch videos but the first one I have is the Druid Craft Tarot and so these I have a you know, pretty plain background uh, they're a nice size they're a little bit larger than um, a standard tarot card more like an oracle card size and the paper stock is pretty decent um, not too flimsy which is nice so let's see what we have again this is the druid craft tarot so we have the ace of cups the princess of swords four of pentacles uh, so this is a major arcana card it is 10 14 um, so this would be Temperance, I believe. That looks right. Um, here we have Justice. Seven of Wands. Which, that's interesting. You would almost think those were swords. Um, and Ace of Cups again. So uh, my first impression is I really like these cards. I really like the artwork. There's a lot to see in the pictures. So you can really get in there and, and get some depth to it. I like the, um, the females, female-centric cards. Um, and I like the, the color palette. So overall, I really, like, I really like this deck. I would consider getting that. That was the Druid Craft. All right, next we have, what do we have? Spirit of the Animals Oracle. So it looks like some Native American slash sacred geometry kind of theme. That's pretty. Um, again, this is a similar cardstock, similar size as the others. So what do we have? Eagle, Mastery, Moon, Intuitive, Frog, Prosperity. Um, so I, I like these too, actually. Um, again, I like the colors. I like the images. There's a lot in the images. Um, I generally don't like cards with a lot of words. These, you know, for, for Oracle cards, this is not too bad. Some get really wordy and that doesn't really serve its purpose when you're doing readings. You, you really want to interpret rather than just be reading, or at least I do. Uh, but these are pretty cool. You can uh, you can get some some good stuff out of these. All right. Next we have the Fairy Forest Oracle. Oh, look at these. These are cool. Look at that. That is a cool back. Um, they are glossy, which I generally don't like. Um, it just feels a little cheaper to me, but but there's there's still pretty hardy stock. So, what do we have? Elven touch, recovery, comeback, revival. The green witch, fresh, new, spring. And Astrild, love fire sensuality fertility i like these cards i like these a lot i would consider getting this deck pretty cool all right next we have what do we have we have some teeny tiny little cards this is the white sage tarot so here's the back look how teeny um is fine it's so let's see we have judgment the hermit okay so here is a sloth so there's like a little bit of a um, sense of humor to these cards oh the knight of wands 
Are these, are these, oh, these are tarot. Okay, I was thinking that these were oracles. King of Cups. Cute little otter with his coffee. Three of Swords. That's interesting. Usually the Three of Swords is represented with a, a heart with the Three Swords going through it. That's a much darker card. This is actually kind of light. Two of Pentacles. All right, so, you know, the, the drawing on these is a little more, what do we want to say? Some I mean, it's not too, super simple, but it's definitely a little less complicated than the others. Um, definitely that sense of humor, more animal spirit. Um, you know, it's kind of fun. You can't really read into the cards much, though. I mean, if you don't know the cards, you know, wh what is this telling you about the Two of Pentacles? You know, yes, it's usually about balance, about um, juggling things, which you could kind of get, but you, you really need to know that. So, uh, you know, not a deck I need, but maybe it resonates with somebody else. All right, next we have Fairy Blessing cards. Some more on that fairy theme. These are very beautiful backs, too. I like this. This reminds me of, like, William Morris, nice stock, um, you know, pretty decent weight and not glossy. Okay, we have a blessing of the white heart. A blessing to undo an unfortunate, what's that word? I don't know what that word is. Gris? I don't know. Maybe somebody knows and can tell us. And a blessing of elf locks. So these are, I mean, they're kind of groovy. I like the artwork. Um, I am always drawn towards elves and fairies and the woodlands. Um, but they do feel a little... What's the word I want to use? I don't know. A little on the fictional narrative style, if that makes sense. Um, don't know that I would want these, but that's okay. All right, next we have Raven's Wand Oracle. Hmm, that's kind of a nice back. So these are a little bit lighter. Yeah, but we have, oh. Old ghosts, that's kind of cool, huh? Lots of seeing that. It's like the more you look, the more you see. Piercing the mist. Oh, she's got her, her little cat familiar here. Oak endures. This is a cool deck. I like this deck. Um, I would, it's very dark, right? Um, I would think that this deck might be good for past life readings. Um, or just really dark, intense readings. I like that one. That's very cool. All right, next we have the D Divine Feather Messenger, which I actually own. So you may have seen me use these before. So these are just so beautiful. Um, every back is a different feather. So, um, so you would, when I do readings with them, I have people pick the feather that they like. So this, this one, this black and white feather is a nuthatch. It says stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. And this one it is kind of gray, bluish gray feather is the crane. You will soon enter into a beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. And this beautiful purpley feather is a parrot. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It is time to embrace who you really are. So um, it's interesting. I was gifted this deck uh, and... I just immediately loved it. I loved the images. I loved the messages. I thought the messages were really um, 
really direct. You know, sometimes Oracle cards can get a little woo-woo, a little very feel-good, and these were a little more, more straight to the point. Oh, this next pack I also own, the Halloween Oracle. If I can get it out of the package. The Halloween Oracle. So I bought these for my Halloween article. Ugh. Halloween readings, sorry. Um, again, glossy stock, I don't like the glossy. Um, but um, the images were, it were good for Halloween. So we have the veil, the future, the ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA, and Barmbrack, sweetness and synergy. Um, you know, they, they just, it, they gave a little fun, spooky element to my Halloween readings. Um, you know, did I, would I do a whole reading with these? No, I would not. But as a, as an extra element to a tarot reading, they were pretty cool. Um, okay, let's see. What do we have here? Angel meditation cards. Okay. I personally am not big into angels. Some people are. Um, so... If you are into angels, maybe you would like these cards. They're little, um, kind of a simple little back there. Let's see, now see, these are very wordy. All right, the angel of courage. My heart is open and full of courage. And then it says courage, an action that springs from the heart. All action inspired by a center of true love brings with itself security and firmness that cannot be disturbed. To be courageous is to know that fear offers no resistance to love. And then we have the angel of honesty. When I am honest with myself, I feel the security and support of my soul and my mind and heart. The angel of truth. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. With a little Bible verse there. So, um, you know what these are good for? If, you, if you're into angels, if you're into a Christian-based deck, um, this would be good for just pulling one card every morning for yourself. Um, I can see people getting into that. Um, and liking that. That's what that's good for. And the last one for tonight is Whispers of Lord Ganesha. Okay, so nice big oracle cards. There's, there she is. So that's, I mean, that's kind of fun, you know, kind of nice. Okay, so we have Insight, Wholeness, be candid. Yeah, so this is interesting. Um, I can definitely see s somebody. Are these all the same picture though? Oh, isn't that interesting? Wait, it's all the same picture, di just different colors uh, with with the different um, symbols. But um, uh, so I don't know. I mean. Maybe if this is your your path, your your truth, then these might be good to read by. I would think they're pretty vague though. I mean, because they're all the same picture, you can't really get much out of the visuals. So it's all depending upon the word. All right, well, you know, that's for somebody. Not for me. So there you have it. There's a quick unboxing of some sample cards. I have one more stack to go through. And I thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And you can always find me on Facebook and at my website, sandyhollowtarot.com. And I'm always available for private readings and parties. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.